All right, guys. This is Carl Rogers fishing. We're out here fishing at my grandpa's pond, ice fishing. Me and my cousin are here. Hi, Colton. This is Colton, my cousin. And uh, I already caught a couple bluegill, some good size ones, probably about some eight-inch bluegill, and a couple smaller ones. We're using. Um, you can go ahead and show you what you're using as bait there. Deer meat. Scraps off a of deer that we got. And we're just gonna drop down the hole, <laughs> chum in the water a little bit, and it's bringing in some of the bluegill. And I uh, saw a bigger bass or a crappie. I couldn't tell which one it was. I just saw it. So I passed the hole earlier. So I'm gonna turn the camera on now and set it up and uh, see if we can get on some more. Uh, what we got right here is we just got the tip up set up with just a line or just hand lining them in. This one's got a line going into the hole too. And then I've got a rod set up there also. Let's see, is there any fish down in there? Nope. You guys can see there's my bait right there, which is on a tip up. And here's another bait. Dropping them down at different depths, seeing where the fish are at. Uh, there's a storm moving in. Uh, it's supposed to snow real bad tonight. So, all right, I'm going to put the camera away for now, and I'll get back to you guys once we get another fish. All right, we got one on the, we got one on the tip up, and I'll let my cousin take it. Colt, pick that one up. We're getting action again. Right, hold that thing up, Colt. What is that, big old sunfish? Big sunfish. What happened to the line on the tip? I've got a little tangled up there, huh? Yeah. All right, here. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. All right, Colt, what do you got there? A big old sunfish. What'd you catch that one on? I caught it on a tip up. Was that a lot of fun? Yeah. Here, hold it up. I'm going to get a picture of your mom. I need another one. All right, go ahead and throw them back in the hole. There he goes, big old bluegill. All right, Colt got him another one, another sunfish. That venison uh, bait's killing it. You wanna go ahead and take that one off the hook and throw it back in there? Yep. Nice, Colton. Good job, buddy. Yes. I was fixing the other tip up because it got all uh, tangled up during the fight. Here, hold it up, hold it up. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, toss him back in. There he goes. Just caught another sunfish, a little red ear. I just put that, I literally just put that tip up in there and saw this one come up and take it. Nice little red ear. Look at those fins. We'll get another one on over there. Look at how red those fins are. They're pretty fish, real pretty fish. Oh, Colton got one. Another one hooked up again. I'm going to try to film him and put, and put this tip up in at the same time just so we got these lines in the water. There he is. All right, go ahead and throw him back, Colton. Huh? Is it hooked on both lines? Yeah. Let me see. No, maybe you tangled it up. No, yeah, that's all right. Look at that. Go ahead and toss them back. Oh, hang on. Let me zoom out. There he goes. Yeah, something. Oh, what do you got? Another sunfish. sunfish. Let's see it. That actually looks like a shellcrack. I don't know. It might be. Uh, I think it's more of like a. Oh, pick it up. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. All right, toss him back in the hole. Oh, careful, bud. Don't want to kill them fish, you know. Yeah. All right, here. All right, now take a step back over there. I'll do it. All right, guys, caught a bigger one. Bigger one. All right, so what you guys just watched was me catch a bluegill on a tip-up, and it cut off, like, two seconds in. Um, what happened was I was fishing the tip-up, and I caught about a six-inch bluegill, and it wasn't anything crazy huge, but... I handed the camera off to my cousin and the SD card was full. It filled up and I put a new SD card in the camera and that was the last fish we caught of the day. And I realized as when I was editing this video that I didn't film an outro for it. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm just going to basically explain what we were, how we were catching the fish in this um, video. So what we were doing is we were using um, scraps of deer meat. Um, and we're putting them on a little hook and just letting them just float. No weight, nothing, no jig head, just letting them sink down. As, um, and the bluegill seemed to like they were catching some bluegill, some red ear. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, and we were just catching them on the, the little chunks of venison, and letting them sink down, and the bluegill were loving it. I tried bacon, I took a slice of bacon and put it on a hook and left it out there for days and days, and I kept putting it out there and putting new bacon and new bacon. Nothing worked, and within 
two hours of putting um, the uh, venison out there, I started getting bluegill. And that's what you saw in this video was we just started catching bluegill and catching tons of bluegill. It was right before a snowstorm happened, which is what I said in the video. And we, we were on the bluegill for about an, uh, about an hour to two hours. And uh, they died off after about that. That's why there's no other fish catches in this video except for that last one you guys just watched. Um, it was a lot of fun though. I got to fish with my cousin. Um, they live uh, down south farther and they, uh, they came up for a while to visit with us and uh, took them out ice fishing. Uh, for his first time ice fishing and uh, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. Um, as you guys saw in the video, we were catching uh, bluegill and we were catching fish so fast that I didn't have time to reset up the tip up and put the flag down and everything. We just set them on the ice and let the line sit in the water and um, we'd kind of lean over the hole and we'd see the bluegill come up and hit them. We'd, we were using some rods uh, but we were just mostly hand lining went on the tip up. So. That's how that went, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.